28 to 9 Maryland. So Maryland outscored Nebraska 12 to 3 over the final four minutes of that first quarter, and they're now up 28 to 9, their largest lead. As Nebraska has it moving left to right, and Whitish holds it on the left wing. Whitish 0 of 4 to start from this game. Whitish uh, inside pass to Ali Havers. Havers with a nice backdoor cut, who is standing wide open under the basket. She lays it up and in. Six points for Havers. It's 28 to 11. Right, nice job by Rama Cherry there. She gets the seal on Havers' defender, so she comes over the top. Beautiful play. And uh, driving in for Maryland from the left wing was Destiny Slocum, and she's fouled on her way up by Allie Havers. That is her, Havers' first personal foul, first team foul by Nebraska, 9-18 to go in the first half, 28-11. to So going to the line to shoot two will be Destiny Slocum, the freshman guard out of Meriden, Ohio. Maryland overall, a pretty solid free throw shooting team, 71.7% on the year. The first one is no good. And a Slocum herself on the year, 74.4% from the charity stripe. Second shot is uh, up and no good. So two missed free throws. Shepard trying to go for the rebound. Whistle blows. And we've got a foul on number 42, Brianna Jones of Maryland. So it looked like maybe another offensive board for Maryland, but the Huskers catch a break with two missed free throws and then a foul, so they get the ball back down 28-11. to Sinkhor across the timeline with it. Gives it over to Havers, top of the key. Now right wing to Eliley. Dribbles, takes a screen from Havers. Tries to drive in from the left side. Now backs out. 12-foot shot, left elbow, no good. Defensive board by Kaya Gillespie. We've got a whistle. And that's on Ali Havers with a push as both teams fighting for the rebound so that is Havers' second personal foul and also the second team foul by Nebraska and coming in for the first time in place of Havers is number 14 Grace Mitchell so Maryland will take it Maryland will take it moving right to left up 28 to 11 8 55 to go in the first half dribbling across the timeline is Destiny Slocum and uh, Slocum gives it up top to Gillespie. Gillespie feeds it inside to Brianna Jones, who lays it up and in from the left side. Brianna Jones now up to eight points, and it's 30 to 11, Maryland by 19. That ties their biggest lead. Shepard across the timeline to Eliley on the left side. Now gives it to Whitish left corner, and then uh, Whitish on a curl route gives it underneath to Grace Mitchell, wide open by the basket, who lays it up and in. Mitchell with her first points of the game. It's 30 to 13. Nice little transition. I don't want to say transition offense because it was a made basket, but half-court offense well organized by Nebraska. They found the open uh, player on the floor, and a nice job in converting it into points. With a catch-and-shoot jumper from the right side, Kaya Gillespie, that shot's no good. Rebound underneath by Kayla Charles. That putback shot is good. Kayla Charles, her first points of the game. Kayla Charles made the start, the freshman out of Glendale, Maryland. It's 32-13, Terps on top. Here's Shepard now uh, at the top of the circle, drives in from the left side, drives the lane left, and she is fouled. Number 42, Brianna Jones, her second personal foul. Second team foul by Maryland. That foul does come on the floor. A couple of substitutions coming in for Maryland now. Brianna Frazier, number 34, checking back in. And also Aisha Small, the junior guard out of Maryland, out of Miami, checking in. So Whitish from the baseline gives it right corner to Shepard. Shepard gives it up top to Eliley right side. Now to Sinkor right corner. Shepard sets a screen. And uh, nothing much doing, though, as Maryland's still playing that 2-3 zone defense. Nebraska can't seem to break it. Eliley has it top of the key. Now give to Shepard. Shepard drives in, high post, step back jumper. That finally sinks as Jess Shepard went over her first five. But finally, with 7.30 to go in the first half, Shepard her first points of the game. It's 32-15 Maryland. Yeah, you said it. She's still playing outside. She needs to get down low more and get her points in, in going. And now weaving her way through the Nebraska defense, Brianna Frazier coming in from the left side, working against Whitish and Shepard. Frazier having herself a nice game now. Four points, two of two from the floor. It's 34-15 Maryland. Their largest lead is 19. Shepard has it top of the key, working against Kayla Charles. Now gives it over to Eliley. Shepard still working up top. As Whitish has it top of the key, now gives it to uh, Shepard left wing, who drives in from the left side, forces a shot from the left hand, no good. Defensive rebound by Kayla Charles. Charles going coast to coast, lays up a shot left side, no good. But a nice offensive putback by Brianna Frazier coming in from behind and putting it up right in front of the basket. Easy shot for Frazier. That gives her now six points, 36-15 Terps on top. Now Shepard will fire from three, a terrible shot top of the key. Didn't even graze the iron. It grazed the bottom of the net, 
barely. Goes out of bounds. Turnover Nebraska, their fifth of the game. So clock stops at 631 in the first half. Maryland 36, Nebraska 15. Yeah, you know, it was a bad shot, bad defensive possession. Uh, Nebraska just slow uh, in that on the rebounding, and that just relates back to the effort being put on by this Nebraska team. It's, there's not much there. Aisha Small brings it across the timeline. Small dribble, drive, now step back, uh, jumper from the mid-range right side, airballed it, rebound by Riley Cascio Jensen, who just checked into this game. A fresh, freshman out of Fremont, Nebraska, gives it to Nicaea Eliley, who gives it to another Fremont native, Jess Shepard, top of the key. Now hands it off to Sinkor, who stands top of the circle, dribbles of the basketball, tries to find Cassio Jensen, but has it stolen away. Here comes, and that is uh, number 22, Blair Wilson, who lays it up and in. Blair Wilson, her first points of the game, a freshman out of Nutley, New Jersey. A lot of freshmen on this team. Six new faces on this Terrapins team as they come in with the number one rated recruiting class this year. And uh, Jasmine Sinkor gets a catch-and-shoot jumper right side off the assist from Riley Cascio Jensen. It's 40-15, to 15, Big Red, and they snap what was a 6 nothing scoring run for Maryland. Walker Kimbrough lost her left shoe, threw it to the sideline. She was on the floor playing with one shoe. We'll see how this possession turns out for her. And now taking a shot from the middle of the paint was Stephanie Jones, a little turnaround jumper from eight feet away. No good, but the rebound is pulled down by Walker Kimbrough, and uh, she will feed it to Aisha Small, who goes from the – who go, drives the lane right, tried to get a layup, but she can't finish. That shot is no good. Fighting for the rebound was Brianna Frazier, but it goes out of bounds off Maryland, so Nebraska gets it back. 5-11 to go, opening half. 38-17, Maryland over Nebraska. Looks more like a football score right now. <laughs> As checking in for Nebraska. Looks like Jazz Sinkor. And also Maddie Simon back into the game. Darian Washington checks in for Sincor. I beg your pardon. So Washington will inbound the ball on the near left corner of the floor. As the officials wait for both teams to get set here. Coach Freeze shouting orders from the far side. Maryland's bench on the right. Nebraska's on the left on the far baseline as Cassio Jensen will trot it across the timeline. 5.04 to go opening half. Huskers getting beaten bad here at home 38 17 by maryland sinkor holds it left side little dribble and now right corner to havers deep two about 18 feet away no good and the rebound pulled down by walker kimbrough who's had a fantastic game kimbrough 10 points four boards already and now brianna frazier holds it left side now gives it left corner to blair watson watson inbounds inside to Frazier. Now Frazier back out to Watson on a curl, a curl screen, and she loses the ball out of bounds, Watson does. And so Nebraska will get it back. So it's two straight defensive stops by Nebraska, and they'll have the ball with a chance to cut into the lead when we come back. 4.36 to go opening half. Maryland 38, Nebraska 17. You're listening to Nebraska Women's Basketball on 90.3 KRNU. 